geopolitics, strategic competition, and sometimes uh, in terms of technology, there's fierce competition, even dragging each other's down. I mean, at this point, what do you make of the nature of your research? And as a scientist, how do you see this dramatic change in the international environment? Yeah, you know, the, the, the situation changed a lot, but the four scientists uh, look like everything is the same to us. You know, uh, scientists are a group of people who are bound scientific research and their core value and a lifelong pursuit. In my opinion, all the scientific activity are determined for one ultimate goal, that's for the advancement of human civilization. I think this will not going to change it, even in the long future. When you look back on history, those important scientific discoveries and inventions have led to huge leaps in our understanding of the universe and the improvement of our life. Right now, uh, in some strategic competitions, we see uh, issues like chips, quantum technology, nanotechnology are in fierce competition. Some even hope that there will be decoupled between China and the rest of the world. Uh, what do you make of the current situation? Can you still cooperate with your counterparts? The scientists even in China and uh, uh, other countries like the U.S. Uh, you know, try to find a way to collaborate. I, mm. I, I think uh, yeah, maybe this is uh, something we are looking for, uh, but still mm. we try to collaborate uh, nicely together. I talked a lot of colleagues in the United States and Japan, and they said we should collaborate particularly, uh, and you know we are working on the, some fundamental research aspect. China's uh, uh, investment into basic research have doubled over the past years. So as a scientist yourself, did you feel it? Uh, what is its impact on you? Uh, you know, I always feel lucky and proud to be a researcher in China. Over the years, I was thrilled to see basic research getting more and more attention and we in our country. Thanks to the huge investment by our government you just mentioned, scientists, including myself, are empowered to conduct cutting-edge and the most challenging research project with the best research facility. And you know, th those facilities are usually very expensive. Uh, for example, the typical price of the machine in my lab is often close to one million US dollar. So clearly, very strong financial support is essential. Speaking of the basic research in our country, we have to admit the fact that we started later, there is a gap for us to catch up. And that basic research requires patience and time. However, we all witnessed our own fast development in the past decade and show ourselves, ourselves the determination to keep up the effort. So what do you make, Professor, of the strongholds area that China has been talking about, namely the areas that are in strategic competition uh, with, for example, the United States, and there was a block of information, block of uh, technologies and intellectual property from the other side. The, uh, in recent uh, year, the, the topic of Kabul, or stronghold area, have gained much attention, particularly in China. But uh, from the uh, point of view of a scientist, I have a little bit of different uh, you know, opinion. So mm -hmm. it's require our personal effort, of course, to focus on those technology strongholds. Uh, scientifically, to solve this issue, in many cases, we need to understand where and how the problem are from the science side first. So we have to identify the scientific problem related to those uh, technologies. Again, basic research and the basic research play very crucial role here. So what I mean here is, uh, so we know the problem, 
but we need to find where and how to solve the problem scientifically. What are these problems? Where are these problems? The problem, actually, the most people understand that it is related to the, uh, the, some of the key technology for the economic development. You benefit from those advancement of technology, but uh, we don't have the, uh, the technique or the, 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 the science and the related technology to develop this kind of industry and uh, application to develop the economics. The chip is a very popular one, is a well-known one, uh, mm. because this, uh, uh, this is related to the uh, manufacturing of the uh, phone for the uh, super high-speed computer. So because mm -hmm. uh, we now in a, in the age of the digital society, so we need this kind of key technology for the de economic development in this digital uh, time. What do you make of the current process of trying to develop this technology to catching up with the, the latest? Uh, as a scientist, I'm very you know, you know, uh, optimistic about this. So we just need <laughs> some time to understand how to make this kind of technology. I think it's uh, uh, my, uh, that's different from the science. Science, we, uh, as a scientist, we usually explore something or not. So this is a known problem. We have a known or known the technology. So as long as we, mm -hmm. we know the, uh, uh, whole, uh, what's the science there, and then we probably mm -hmm. can find a way to develop the technology.